Hey y'all, it's Julie with Longhorn Kennels. This is our mini Aussie Doodle litter. You can find all of our puppies on our website at longhornpuppies.com or on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and X. This is our Sorbet and Suave litter. Born August 14th, 2024, going home October 12th, 2024 in College Station, Texas. Hello. Mom is Sorbet. Oh my gosh, she's so fun. You'll have to watch her video. Uh, I'll be sure to have uh, have it put up for you. OFA, Orthopedic Foundation for Animals, hips, elbows, patellas, cardiac, and eye certifications, plus a genetic panel. She weighs 17 pounds. Her parents are AKC. But she's a doodle herself. Suave, OFA, patellas, cardiac, and eye certifications, plus his genetic panel. He's an AKC toy poodle and he weighs seven pounds. This is number five. Okay, this dog is really neat. I see you. I see you, buddy. Oh, good boy. To me, he looks poodly. Um, like, I think he's gonna have more of a poodle shape to his face. Um, some poodles have a real narrow, that's not what he's going to have. His is broad, but it's just a little longer than your typical Aussie. Um, but it's gorgeous. Like, it's not done wrong. I see you. Oh, you want to go night-night? Okay. Um, okay, he's a phantom. So what that, that's phantom and poodle means tan points or try. We, we, we use the term try in Aussies. If he were an Aussie, he'd be called Red, but he's not Red. Uh, technically, it's just what they call it in Aussies. He's brown, uh, and genetically, he's brown. So he's a very dark, 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 rich brown color. As of today, he weighs three pounds, 1.0 ounces. I, on his eyes, I think at least one is blue, maybe both. Really early to tell, really hard on these brown dogs. A lot of times um, what looks blue might go green or hazel or whatever. We don't really know until we're closer to six weeks, but I'm guessing. I see you, I see you. He's like, where is my mom? Try to look in the pictures because his tan points are outstanding down here and here also here and here and then on his back legs he is I think he's gorgeous um under here nothing really there and then teensy 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 white right here but not much I know coat is curly it's still coming in it's not a heavy heavy like real tight curl um, but it, I mean, I think it is curly. And this, if, if I could pick a coat, if we're talking about curly, I would pick something that's not super, super tight because, well, I just don't like tight, but I also don't like coarse. He's not gonna be that. I don't have, I can't think of a dog that I've had like that in a long time. I breed away from coarse. So even though he's curly, he's not gonna be like that weird, I don't know, some poodles are just like, it's like a Brillo brush or something. He's not like that at all. So here you have it. This, um, this guy is going to be, okay, personality. Sorry. This is totally him. Watch. I see you. Like he's not really flustered by much. He's just, he's super laid back. I'm sorry that wind is hitting you. He's never had wind. Um, but it's a nice cool day, so the least the coolest September I've had in Texas, and I can't remember when. But um, anyway, so laid back, chill. Another one of these. I mean, this this litter just really nailed it. Uh, hit it out of the park. Super, super, super. Um, just emotionally stable, good in any home. Gonna be happy and active, but not like Energizer Bunny. Um, don't have enough nice things to say about him. He's just, he's happy. He's happy. 
perfect for just any home. It, it really doesn't matter. Anyways, um, there you have it. Say bye. Say bye. This is Sorbet's number five. Thanks, y'all.